people deluded i hope you're all enjoying this weather if you're in london and stuff like that man it's a very hot day um i'm about to enjoy it but before that might as well speak about a couple things now i've seen that christian bielik has been linked with norwich now norwich will be playing in the premier league norwich have a couple of young players you've got ben godfrey you've got um jamal is it jamal lewis Jamal Lewis I'm sure and obviously you've got Max Aarons and they've probably got a couple other players that I don't know about of course they're getting promoted they're going to introduce some experience within that side um, and bring in some additions but they play young players um, Bielik's been linked with a move to them now I'm not sure I've seen loan and I've seen permanent so we're not sure of the capacity um, but what it is he said he's not talk, thinking of play moves and, and, and where we play next season and contracts and all these things. He's focusing on Charlton. For those who don't know, Charlton are obviously in a playoff, um, playoff final or, or things like that. They can get promoted into the championship. And ideally, Bielik won't be there next season, but it's a possibility. I'd love for him to play in the top league, whether it's the Bundesliga, which is a big thing for me. For him, he should be looking to push for, whether that's here on loan or in per on a permanent fashion or a top league somewhere France whatever um so to play in the Premier League would be amazing what capacity or how frequently he would play would be down to him and stuff Norwich have wanted him previously in the past so that could give you a bit of confidence as a player he can it'll be an ideal world man if he isn't going to play under an Embry he's going to be 22 in January so he can't afford to be messed around and stuff going to Norwich Playing Premier League football, cutting your teeth, playing at centre half or defensive mid would be a good thing. I think Belix probably only got one last loan spot at this club left before he moves on permanently. If he doesn't in the summer, because he's been impressing. He's got the England, he's England. He's got the under twenty ones championships with Poland, where he's bound to get more admirers. And the decision will be down to him. He arrived up to, with much hype, and he is a good player. And I do think he could be used in the squad. But last season, he said he didn't have a conversation with Uno Emre. He went out on loan. We do know there's a lot of stock in regards to both midfield and centre-half, two positions he has. Um, I would love to see him get an opportunity, but who knows? He's got a lot to think about. So he's been linked with Norwich. Callum Chambers has won Player of the Year for Fulham. Now, he's someone whose future is in limbo. I believe he could be used in the squad to some capacity under Uno Emre. I don't advocate him playing at right-back, but he could have done better than certain centre-halves there could have utilised him in defensive mid as he has done at Fulham. Centre-half, probably not the first choice centre-half, but could have been utilised because we've been pressed for options. Um, and he can be, he's obviously homegrown and stuff. Now, for me, if he's not going to be used and stuff, he's at the age he needs to go and play football. He played a lot at Middlesbrough, he played a lot at Fulham, played an OK amount sandwiched in between them at us, Chelsea and and. and Athletic are the best examples, but he's got him, there's him, there's Bielik, there's Mavropanos, there's Koscielny, who we'll get onto in a bit, there's Monreal, who can play at centre-half, there's Mavropanos, if I haven't said him, and there's still Socrates for a couple of years, so there's a lot of stock. Will he get the chance? He needs to have an honest conversation with Una Emery. If not, he needs to move on. We surely have to get 20, 20 for him, max 20 or around that, man, considering he's been all right in the Prem, and I've seen worse players sold for more. Vima. Stoke got, I mean, Stoke got, um, Stoke bought Vima from Spurs for much peace. So we need to start finessing teams in that regard. There's obviously that. Um, I've seen koscielny has been linked with a move back to um, back to France, and like his Europa League clash, the Europa League clash against Chelsea could be his last game. Now I've told you lot, Montreal and Koscielny contracted until 2020. The wrong side of 30. Both played in the Premier League. But neither from this country. I'm sure Montreal wants to return to to Spain or try another adventure. Kishoni the same. This is what I said. An honest conversation needs to be had. Because on one hand, you want to keep their experience. And kishoni has been all right this season. And if we haven't got money for another left back, Montreal has to hold it up for another year. But on the other hand, could the fact that they're still on the books be holding people back? For instance, Kishoni experience and all of that but you look at Mavropanos you look at Bielik maybe even Callum Chambers and other centre-halves if you've got any you're looking at players like him could he be blocking the pathway of sorts um, and if we bring in another centre-half will he simply play he's contracted until 2020 so on that principle of we're not going to let players run down their deals do we let him go because I do think Koscielny and Monreal we can allow their deals to be run down they're not neither are going to bring back anything both the wrong side of 30. Monreal probably recoup a decent fee. I don't think Koscielny will. Um, he's previously spoken about wanting to move and he said he considered a move last year. So it's something he's been thinking about for a while. So if his heart isn't in it, he does need to leave. 
it'll be good if he leaves on a high in Europa League. Um, it ain't quite the Premier League, but it'll be a high of sorts. Um, he isn't going to be part of the long-term project that Unai Emery is trying to do purely because of his age. He's been linked with AC Milan and a host of clubs in France. Um, maybe he wants to go back to France. Maybe he wants to experience another adventure or try another project. Only he will know. I personally feel Koscielny wants to leave because you keep seeing targets like this, comments like this. And if he does want to leave, let him go. He's been linked with Rennes and Lyon and stuff like that and other teams as well. AC Milan in Italy. So it's up to him, to be fair with you. I mean, I'm seeing Depay wants to leave Lyon allegedly, so what, can't we structure some sort of deal, some money if we have any, and, and Koscielny for Depay? Obviously we can't, people, but you, just a bit of humour, but um, a serious decision needs to be made over him. So yeah, I've seen allegedly we've tried to go for Alex Claude Maurice again, we've had a £9 million bid rejected, we're going to follow that up with another one. You all saw Gwendozi's Snapchat or what was it, Instagram, where he was with him. Um, apparently, he's, he wants to link up with Gwendozi again. Um, he can be used on the flanks as well as in the middle. And he's obviously got an eye for goal. So that's something we could look to utilise, to be fair with you. Because you look at Brandt, he can play on the flanks as well as in the middle. And a couple other players can as well. Also, apparently, we've been having scouts looking at um, the centre-half of Sandori. I can never say his name, but Anderson if that's how you say it, and also Dennis Pritt, a player who we've known about since his Anderlecht days, ironically, as a winger at 16 years of age. I would invite both of them to come to the club. I think the centre-half's decent. I'm more confident about Dennis Pritt. He likes to play forward. He's a decent midfielder, and he's very mature, and I think he's done things the right way, similar to Telemans. They, when they were getting moves, offers to move and stuff at a young age, they didn't. They stayed at Anderlecht, learnt, got their education. Obviously, Telemans has probably played for more reputable clubs than Pritt, but it's been all right for him to get it, um, getting their experience and stuff. And like you see now, the move will come. Join the club in like San in Sandori where we'll get games as well. So we'll see, man. Finally, obviously I've seen as well, don't know how much to believe it, but um TT to Arsenal, sixty million rumours won't leave us alone. Apparently Sanye is very hell bent on that. Does that depend on the Champions League? I'm not too sure. Um, a lot of people speak about him since his knee injuries and stuff. I can't verify how long he's or how many times he's actually be, been injured to know how um, accurate that is. I haven't spoken about because I don't really care from it. He'd be a good addition to the side, I believe, on the basis he's better than everybody else. Um, let me. Just, I'm trying to find his injury history, people. Oh, 60 million. And I've just seen typing his name in 44 million. Make up your minds. He's contracted until 2023. You get the feeling he'd probably be forced out of the club. But, yeah, people, if we look at... From his Leon days in 13-14, one, he had one injury that kept him out for 17 days, a hamstring knock. Stretched, a stretched hamstring at Barcelona in the 16-17 season. Um, October the 13th, 2016, kept him out for 24 days. A hamstring injury in the same in the same year. Yeah, yeah, in the same in the same year, kept him out until December twenty sixteen. So the end of twenty sixteen weren't the best for him. Um, he, in the seventeen eighteen season, he got an injury which muscle injury. It says forty seven days, knee problems the same season fourteen days, knee injuries this year which has kept him out for eighty three days and forty and another one. Um, that was in that would well eighty three days was from November twenty eighteen till f f set till. Money glass, that doesn't say September, till February 2019. And he had some knee injuries before that, which kept him out for 43 days um, from September 2018 till November 2018. Um, he missed 19, he missed 19 games. Well, he missed, yeah, man, he missed quite a lot of games. The first one, he says he, when he missed 83 days, he was out for 19. Then he was out for nine. Before that, he was out for three. Before that, for his muscle injury, he missed nine games. Hamstring injury caused him to miss four, as did his stretched ligament. Sorry if I didn't say that at the beginning. And he missed four games for Leon. So is his injury record of recent looking a bit shaky? Of course, man. But I don't like to really speak on him thing there. I'm not a physio. I'm not a doctor. If I was a coach and the physio and doctors that are running tests or getting information on him are concerned, I'll take that into account. But I'm a football man and I think he'll improve our defence. He's not coming for what it's worth. But yeah, man, there's not much more to add. So people... Deluded. I'm out.